Hello and welcome to Let's Make Tracks. This is TT120 Rambler, where I'm going to sit here and ramble on about stuff that's going on in the world of 120. So in today's episode, uh, I'm going to go over uh, the waves that I don't think anyone's talking about just yet. And a bit of a mistake I made in one of my videos. So let's just dive in. <clears throat> I recently uploaded my review of the uh, the 08 Shunter, the Gronk, and in said video I made a little bit of an extraordinary claim. The Gronk from buffer to buffer measures in at 750 millimeters. And width-wise, from the locomotive's widest point, which I make the rods, it comes in at 250 millimeters. There are several levels of incompetent failure here. Let's just digest them. One, my inability <laughs> to read a ruler. I mean, it's it's right there in the video. I mean, I'm looking at it as I'm doing the voiceover, so that that's that's pretty stupid. <clears throat> Secondly, during the hours upon hours I spent editing the video, not once did I catch that I had made such an extraordinary claim, and also just that I said it. <laughs> That's extraordinary. Um, 250 millimeters by 750 millimeters. Quite extraordinary mistake. So by my logic, <coughs> my incompetent logic, um, <coughs> this is what Hornby are gonna present to us when they finally get around to giving us the pannier tank. And it gets better. I have exclusive footage of one of these new XL TT120 locomotives in action. I don't know what part of this is funnier that I've claimed that the TT120 models are that big. Or my hair. Moving on. Right, so... If you've made it this far, thank you for sticking with me for my interpretation of what comedy should be. So, if you made it this far, um, what I wanted to talk about in a semi-serious form is um, the waves for TT120 releases from Hornby that I don't think many people are talking about. So, we're going to have a ramble. All my sources are from a very interesting place. It is from the TT120 catalogue. So, I've got a downloaded version on the laptop here. Let's start with <coughs> the rolling stock. Oh, right, so we're going to start on page 23. I'm going to skip over everything is basically already up for pre-order. So if it's up for pre-order, as of recording, um, it's the 25th of November right now, as of recording. So anything currently up for pre-order, I'm going to ignore entirely. The first wagon we have is uh, BR Conflat. There's three of these listed, uh, one, two, and three. And they are eras four, four, and five. So the next one on the list is a BR Mark I horse box. 
So this is a BR Mark One, so it'd be like a steel bodied version of the horse box. Whether the colour's right or not, I'm not sure. I assume it'd be in the uh, the maroony colour. Okay, the next one, BR VEA van, and we've got one, two, three, three of those. Uh, BR VEA van, era eight. BR rail freight. Era 8 and BR subsector Era 8. Next one KFA tank container. Uh, it's the only one listed for that one. That's Era 11. Next one YGBC cow. And there's one, two, three of those listed EWS Era 9. BR Bruxite Era 8. And a mainline era nine. So those are those. A BR VGA van era eight. Oh, we got three of those. So BR era eight. A EWS era nine. And a rail freight era eight. I can't see these yellow bits that well. And then the last one in the wagons list is the BR Rail Freight Distribution VG. Oh, so there was four. See, I can't read this light very well. So this is all listed under the Shape of Things to Come TT Phase 3 and 4 wagon releases. So if that is to be trusted, these are going to be in waves 3 and 4. And that brings us to the carriages. So this should hopefully make quite a few people very happy. So obviously Hornby have kicked out a lot of Pacifics recently. Specifically the Pacifics. Can't say that too fast. Brain fart, brain fart, brain fart. With the amount of LNER Pacifics that Hornby have brought out. Oh my God, my brain. LNER coaches, we're getting LNER coaches. Specifically, the teats. So, what's listed here as Era 3, Gresley Composite and Gresley Brake Third. Now, that is all that's written here. So, I hope we're getting more than just two. But, I suppose we'll find out. So, as is tradition with the uh, TT120 range at the moment, we're getting the BR versions. So, BR Gresley Composite and... Gresley BR Break Third, era four. So that would be in the um, like the blood and custard style livery. Is it still blood and custard when it's Gresley coaches, or is that just a Mark One thing? I don't know. And again, this is listed for phases three and four, and that is on page twenty-two. Hello. Right, sorry to interrupt. Oop. The incompetence runs thick. Right, sorry to interrupt uh, the ramble with uh, a sub ramble, but um, my brain fart was so severe that I actually forgot to read out the rest of the list. Would you believe? <laughs> so, gonna add it real quick here. Sorry for the uh, abrupt intrusion, but it'd be worse if I left it out. So, Great Western Railway slash BR Collet Coaches. We're getting those as well. So, the Composite Coaches, on the list, there's A, B, C, D. So, that says to me we're getting four versions of the Composite. So, that makes me a little bit concerned about the Gresleys that uh, I mentioned earlier, because there's no mention of letters so, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So there's also the brake thirds, A and B. So we're getting two brake thirds. And obviously we're getting the BR versions. So again, A, B, C, D. So we're getting four versions of the BR, call it era four. So I'm going to assume 
Again, that's the blood and custard version. Again, don't know if that's how they're known, but that's how I know them, blood and custard. And same with the break, third, A and B, two versions. So they'll go nicely with the uh, the castles that we know are coming out. And then we've also got BR Mark I coaches listed here. So they're both here of four. So again, I'm going to assume that's blood and custard. <laughs> First one is a BR Mark I Parcels van. So the next one is a BR Mark I Second Class Coach. Now, I know that the BR Mark I's we currently have are composites, so the brakes are not the... The corridors from my models, they're all marked as first class. The brake is marked as a composite. In composite. I am so in composite. <laughs> uh, have a quick scroll. So the BRs are. See, that's interesting. The Mark ones are labelled as composite, but I can only see the ones written on the door. I don't see any freeze. That's interesting. That's that. So it's a full second class coach, era four. Okay, so that's uh, that's all the information I missed out. So again, sorry for the intrusion, and back to your regular da, 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 da. back to your regularly scheduled program. And again, this is listed for phases three and four, and that is on page 22. Right, next we're going to jump to diesel and electric locomotives. Okay, so this is on page 15. And this is also under the title, The Shape of Things to Come, TT120, Phase 3 and 4, Diesel and Electric Released. So the first one, as we saw in the transition video just now, class 31s. So this is excellent for me because um, Spa Valley have a class 31. So uh, what's Sister Dora is what she's called. So I think I'm going to have to do a bit of customising there, but we'll get to it. So what we have listed is... Era 6, D5511, so with the D prefix, I'm going to assume that one is in green, maybe, possibly blue. Uh, the next one, Era 7, uh, 31256, and then the third one that's listed is an EWS, so that makes the livery easy to work out, and that's Era 9. Three four no three one four six six. They're the class thirty ones we've got coming. So next on the list is the class thirty sevens. So again with the D prefix era six D six seven zero four. So again could be green could be blue. Uh, then we've got an EWS era nine three seven four one five. So, the next one, class 60s. So, there are three listed here. BR Rail Freight, number 60100. Bore of Badenoch, hopefully I said that right, era 8. And EWS, era 9, 60026. And a Great British Rail Freight. 60095, era 11. Class 47s. So this, these ones actually name the livery, which is quite useful because, no, the others don't, unless it says EWS or GBRF. Anyway, first one, BR Green. 
D1720 era 6. BR blue. 47568, and that is era 7. NSE era 8, 47573. What, what's NSE? I'm really showing my ignorance here, but if someone could put that down in the comments, that'd be uh, really useful because I'm, I'm pretty sure I've never heard of that one. And then we've got the EWS era 9. 47744. So four class 47s coming all together. And then right down here in the corner. So I'm going to assume this is like wave five. BR class 67. Hitachi class 800. And a BR class 73. And much more. So that's all the information it gives, just that they, they're doing the shape of those three classes of locomotives. No numbers, no eras, no nothing. So again, you can verify all that on page 15 of your catalogue. So scrolling along again, we're going to get to the steam locomotives. So the steam locomotives are on page nine and I'm going to stick to my own rules here, but this is sort of a loophole. We know about the nine F's and the castles. We know about them. However, the pre-orders are not up yet. So I'm sticking to my rules. So the nine F's, we've obviously got Evening Star. We've got a BR Early, Era 4, uh, 92166. And a BR late, era five, nine two two one two. So you've got all three versions of how the nine Fs would have appeared. So evening star in a green livery. I'm pretty sure that's the only livery she ever ran with. And then you've got the BR blacks early and late. So they're all covered. But anyway, that's a that's a different subject altogether. So the castle class locomotives. The GWR Era 4 Tintagal Castle. And then we've got a BR Early Era 4 Surum Castle. And a BR Late Era 5 Spitfire. So hopefully I said the first two names correctly and I didn't just butch them entirely so again you've got all three i say all three i'm pretty sure um great western railway had variations on their own livery with uh how they wrote gwr on their locomotives but uh you've got a gwr version br early br late so most bases are covered in that sense as well and also moving along to potentially phase five and beyond this is going to make a lot of people very happy to have this confirmed. A lot of people in the forums and on social media have mentioned how much they want to see tank engines. And uh, speaking of tank engines, this way works as a very, very good little Jinty that uh, he took to uh, get this year. That's quite impressive. So it is possible to do tank engines if people were concerned. But this confirms it 100%. So with that in mind, I'm not going to read these in order. So the first tank engine we have here is a J94. Now, I'm really excited about this one because these locomotives are very, very numerous on heritage railways. Um, are J94s the same as austerity tank engines? I'm pretty sure they are. But again, my ignorance might be shining through here. I'm a lover of railways, not necessarily an expert. So if there are differences between the two, again, educate me. Please comment down below. And where's the other one? A Great Western Railway slash BR Pannier Class 5700. So that is a TT120 Pannier tank locomotive and not the uh, 57XXL 
And then also we have the BR Britannia. And then last but not least, LMS slash BR Black Fives. So who doesn't love a Black Five? They do anything, go anywhere engines. So very solid lineup there. Again, no other information about the club about which versions we're getting, just the class names or numbers. So all good things to come there. Right, so that's the steam locomotive. So moving on to oh hang on, that did I mention the page? I don't know. But that the steam locomotives are located on page nine of the catalogue. So Plowing right ahead, we're going to get to the last section of this video, which is the train sets. Okay, so there's only three listed here. And some people may already guess which one of them is, but we'll get to that. The first one listed here is a British Pullman electric train set. Now, I think it's a given that we're getting Pullman cars. I mean, that's pretty obvious. I don't think I need to even say that out loud. So that leaves us with what's the locomotive? So it could it could be one of this one of the engines I've already mentioned, either diesel or electric. My hunch is uh, I can't remember the class off the top of my head right now. Again, I'm showing my ignorance, but there'll be a picture up there of uh, the diesel or electric locomotive that was painted up in the uh, Pullman colours. I reckon that would be the best way of getting the most out of that title. It's era free. Right, um, get rid of that, get rid of that. Era three, so that's um, that's the big four, isn't it? So, okay, so it's a steam engine. We're getting in the set, not the uh, the Pullman diesel. So that could literally be any tender engine from any of the big four, except the Southern Railway, because we haven't seen any Southern Railway locomotives yet. So it's going to be an LMS, LNER, or a Great Western Railway Pullman set. Can't be too unhappy about that, can you? Um, if they follow the tradition that they're currently adopting, then hopefully the Pullmans will be exclusive to the set in regard to their names and numbers. So unique to that set, like you can't buy them separately, if you follow my meaning. And same with the locomotive, so it may be an excuse to get another A1 out there, thinking about it. Or any of the, uh, any of the other locomotives we've talk, spoken about really, or, well, literally anything in the catalogue up for pre-order or what we've just spoke about, it could literally be any of them. It's a steam engine from era three. That is literally the only information I have. Right, so the next set. Uh, this is the one that people could probably have guessed. LNER, wait. LNER East Coast Main Line, HST. Era 11. So a while back, Simon Kohler did confirm that we were going to get an HST train set and I don't know if a lot of people went to LNER as their first fault for the train set and then that leaves the third set now this one strikes me as strange because the previous two had product codes TT1003M and TT1004M this one doesn't have a code like that and the only information I have here is Mainline Express Electric Train Set, Era 7. So again, that's quite vague. Uh, the only clue we have there is it's a passenger set and it's Era 7. 
So we're talking BR blue with the double arrow. So more than likely, well, not more than likely, it's a given, it's a diesel. So which of the diesels that I've already mentioned or ones that are up to pre-order could that possibly be? Again, speculate. Comments are down there. Let us know um, what you think are going to be coming in these sets. Uh, what would you like to see coming in future waves? And just leave your thoughts down there. It's literally a brain dump. <laughs> leave it all in the comments, as long as it's nice. Okay? Don't be mean. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this rambling. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Um, it does help with the algorithm to watch the videos all the way to the end. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that lovely, lovely stuff that YouTubers ask you to do. Uh, also, if TT120 is your thing, which I'm assuming it is, uh, maybe you could consider joining our Facebook group, TT120 Showcase and Share. Uh, we welcome everyone there to post as them, however they choose to represent themselves either their personal profile or if you have a Facebook page to go along with your YouTube channel, we allow you to post as your page. So let's make tracks. Obviously I'm an admin so I can post whatever I like, but um, as way of an example, let's make tracks posts on there rather than Peter, if you get what I mean there. And I will see you in the next one, hopefully. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.